and welcome to another episode of Dave Trippin. Um, another vlog here for you. It was just a really cool day at school. I am, um, to my surprise, at this one school that I work at, I don't often get invited to lunch, uh, but when I do, it's fantastic. And I eat with a group called Minori that uh, is kind of like the special needs kids. But they're, they're not really. I think they just get slightly lower entrance scores than uh, some of the other kids at the school. And so I'm meeting with them. It's a good opportunity to practice my Japanese and stuff. And the woman who invited me to go, I went snowboarding with her last year. And she knows English pretty well. And it's not even really her role to be an English teacher. Uh, so that's really cool. I have a good relationship with her. And this year, we're going to Hokkaido. Um, which is going to be awesome. I'm so stoked for that, and I'm going to make a real good effort to get some uh, really good pictures, everything like that. Um, it's kind of ironic. I'm eating, <laughs> I'm eating lunch with them, and one of the kids uh, you know, said something to me, and I was like, I don't understand that. She said, oh, they said that you're getting better at understanding Japanese. So I think that's, that's a little bit ironic. I think that's what irony is. Um, so that was a lot of fun, um, just eating with them. And then afterwards, they did ask me, and I did understand. They said, do you want to play Onigoko? And Onigoko basically means demon copy. And it's the Japanese version of tag. So, uh, yeah, I suited up, and I went out in the, uh, I guess it's Hiroyasumi, which is like, that means uh, afternoon break. And so we went out, uh, about like five or six of us, and we were just, I uh, was just chasing the kids around. Uh, they were making me feel my age. Um, although it was pretty good, managed to catch up with them, uh, managed to tag a few of them. We had a, a good variety of people who had to be the, the demon. Um, <clears throat> not just myself, not just any one kid in particular, but uh, so that was good, you know. I was thinking about that today in class, how I can really appreciate now uh, just how you want to make sure that you give attention to everybody like I never I've always wondered you know why is it such a big deal if a teacher is picking hands in class <clears throat> excuse me why does that impact them so much you know just pick who's ever putting their hand up and what, what does it really weigh on your mind and um, I really do notice now even with the simple things where I see kids putting up their hands and some kid desperately wants to answer the question but then you have to balance that with the other kids who haven't been able to ask yet and turns into this big messy thing in your head when it really shouldn't have to be but now I'm certainly more patient with that idea of teachers struggling with uh, you know wanting to, to balance things and I you know I used to be this big advocate you know some people got to fail that's just the way it is and now we totally appreciate the idea that I'm like oh I wish I really genuinely wish they could all pass um, because it's not like <clears throat> anybody's stupid or anything like that and they, they got a good heart and everything but you know that's just real life it's uh, it's just I have a particular appreciation for it now on the other side of it where I'm like oh I, I don't want any of these people to fall through the cracks but inevitably some of them must that must happen so yeah good I always like to be invited by the kids to do any sort of activity with them always means my relationship is getting better so I really enjoyed going out today and playing the Japanese version of tag I guess you would call it um, I've got, like I said, this uh, this ski trip coming up, and you better believe I'll be doing a better job than when I went to Nagano last year, and I took like two pictures in my room or something like that. I just used to sell phones, and so I've seen so many people come into my store, and they were like, I went snowboarding, the screen's busted, and I'm so terrified of ever bringing it out onto the hill, but I'm going to like go for walks or something, because Japan has a unique beauty during the winter, you know, it's, uh, it's very surreal. Um, all the uh, the natural flora, um, you know, like with the bamboo and when it's all bent over and you got the snow on it and everything like that. Really, really, really beautiful. Uh, so, so that's coming up. And my holidays start on the 19th, and then the trip itself is on the 25th. So it is is quickly arriving. And I've said in the last video, I'm really stoked for is the Bon Enkais. Um, that you do as well. So that's a big Christmas party that's coming up. Probably try and snap some photos at that, you know, for the karaoke, um, for everything. It's going to be a really good time. So yeah, just touching base. Um, really good day. Good to be involved with the kids. If you ever, uh, if you ever come out here, I recommend playing Onigoko. 
for a little uh, exercise in the uh, in the afternoon. Uh, as usual, got my contact information down below. Any questions about teaching in Japan, uh, living in Japan, anything uh, Japan oriented, uh, please do um, drop me a line. If you want to check out my writing, I've got my uh, my website down below as well. That's always going to be there. Check that out. See what you think of the writing. And uh, like I'd like to say, until we meet again next time, world. Thanks for tripping with Dave. Ciao for now. Peace.